things have taken a turn that I really didn't want them to do. You're the smallest. I got a hook in me. I got a hook in me. I got two hooks in me. Shit. What is poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be searching for giant bass with top waters, crankbaits, big jigs, anything you can really think about, and we're gonna make it happen. Got this beautiful first fish today on the old six cents top water. All links will be down below. Also, if you guys wanna get a discount, I'll leave my discount code below as well if you're interested. But today we're gonna try to put a hurting on these fish, and this is a good sign to catch one early on the old top water. Whip out my six cents bag. This thing's perfect when I carry it around um, to all these little bank fishing spots. Cause you never know, especially when using treble hook baits like this, you guys want to make sure that, you know, you're prepared with obviously some pliers. I, I think everybody should always bring that and uh, we'll be good to go from there. But that just pumps me up to catch a bass on top water. It's been a while. That thing's beautiful right there. Let's get him back in the water. Beautiful fish, beautiful colors. Let's see if we can get some more on this top water. That's a really good sign that we got that early this morning. I was not expecting to get, <laughs> I was really not expecting to get destroyed that quick right off the bat, but it sure happened, man. These fish are in this fall pattern right now. We're pushing bait up shallow. And, uh, you know, I was hoping to get on a little topwater bite, see if there'd be any aggressive ones, and sure enough, there was. It's about that time that we switch over from the topwater. We're going down the line. We got a topwater, we got a regular moving bait, and we have a slow moving bait. Now, next up on the menu for these bass is this old square bill by six cents. It's just a little natural shag color. We're gonna give it a try, see if they're, you know, gonna munch on something that's just moving below the surface. You know, maybe they don't want something all the way up on top, even though we did have some blow up. So we know they're somewhat actively feeding. So we're gonna throw around the square bill, see if we can hook us a big one. You guys are wondering what I'm doing with the square bill. This whole bank right here is filled with a bunch of boulders. Throwing the square bill, if you notice, I'm throwing it parallel with the bank. All I'm doing is I'm right here, right on the water. I'm walking down the bank, casting this thing parallel. There's a bunch of boulders. It goes all the way to about 15 foot off the bank. And I'm throwing the square bill around, knocking it on top of the boulders to hopefully see if there's a bass down there that's wanting to munch. So um, this can be a great way to catch a lot of fish. I'm fishing this very productively. Gosh, he had me right there. See that one right there, just short stroke it. But I'm fishing it very productively because I'm going down parallel. You don't see me just casting out in the middle of this place because at the end of the day, I want this square bill bumping off stuff. And mainly what I'm fishing are these boulders. So I'm not gonna wanna throw out there in the middle where there's no boulders. You know, I'm wanting to throw parallel where my bait's in the strike zone the whole time. All right, we gave that square bill its fair run. Now we're going to switch over to the six cents hybrid jig, the stroker crawl on the back of it. Now this is where everything really comes into play. So we covered a lot of this water, top water, standard moving baits. We didn't really have too much activity. You know, these fish might be slow today. So that's why, you know, I'm resorting over to this jig, a slower approach, to see if those fish are actually in these rocks right now but they're just super slow and they don't really want to chase anything. Once we do this, I'm going to show you guys another little trick that I'm going to do. If they don't bite this jig, that's okay. You know, I already have something else up my sleeve that may possibly work, but uh, we're going to chug this around for a little bit, see if we can get some that are slow. Oh. 
Oh, there he is. What? He didn't eat it all the way. He hammered it. You guys probably heard it in my rod, to be honest with you. Dude, you slapped the heck out of that jig right there. Mmm. All I heard is don't in my rod. Just never had it. It's so weird. It was right on them rocks, though. So they're acting a little weird. I had one slap that crankbait, too. There he is. Dude, whoa. I pulled it out of his mouth the first time. That was actually a good fish. That was actually a good fish. I felt his weight behind him right there. Son. Well, I'm getting the bites on the jig. Right there. He was on that big old boulder pile. Let's throw back in there. Gosh dang it. I think when I first lifted, I thought I... Oh, there he is. He broke me off. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Godly. That's why you got to be careful with them rocks right there. Gosh dang it, man. That was a big fish. That was a freaking big fish. I felt him even better that second time. It's another learning lesson, man. This always happens to me. I swear this has happened to me so many times that I came out here. My line is so frayed. Look at all those frays in the line. These rocks are brutal. Even when you make five, 10 casts, you probably got to retie. And I, that, that was my mistake right there. I got something else in my little bait bag over here. Now we're gonna pull out. Mm, that was a good fish too, guys. That's, that's probably the worst feeling you can ever get. Especially when it seems, a, seems to be a little tough. I think it's safe to say that as of right now, I think we're gonna be doing a top water only video. I'm about to cover a bunch of water, cover a bunch of ponds with this old walking bait by six cents. See if we can catch some fish. You know, that's the one fish that we had today. He's actually really aggressive. It happened very quick. And uh, with these overgas condition, conditions and these fish, you know, chasing bait up shallow right now, I think it's gonna work. Hold up, I gotta do a shout out for clothing right now. Shout out to Tracy for purchasing a KTV TV drip hood. If you guys wanna check out the clothing, Please do so, man. I really want to see a lot of people repping the merch. You can check it out. I'll leave the link down below. It really supports me, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get out here. Let's catch some fish on top water. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that freaking subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell, more importantly, and drop some comments down below for some killer video ideas. All right, boys. Got our top water right here. Let's get it started. I actually saw a lot of bait on the bank walking down here. I came right here. We're about to make a crazy parallel cast i saw a bunch of bait fish right here this should be money like we should get slammed if you see bait there's fish nearby oh they're chasing bait right there watch this oh my god i landed literally right on them but i'm on the are you kidding me I... oh my god it landed in the water watch this let's get it back over there Should get slammed. Big. God. Hammered it. This is actually a really big one. Gosh. Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he choked it. He freaking choked it. He's not that big. What? I guess because I had him so down in the throat right there. Look at that. Six cents dogma right there. Freaking gets choked. That's exactly what you want to see. Oh my gosh. Solid two pounder. That's exactly how you want them to eat it right there. Oh man. He's getting me pumped up. We haven't been here long. Saw some fish chasing some bait up on the bank. Threw the top water in there. This guy crushed it. Look at that right there. Beautiful fish. I don't know if he's quite two pounds. He's pushing it though with that thick body of his. That is awesome right there. He hammered that top water. I thought he was a lot bigger. He just had it down in his throat. Thank you for biting, buddy. Let's catch some more. Oh, dude, top water action. There's something about top water that there's nothing more. <laughs> there's not another bait I'd rather be throwing. This is the one that I'm throwing. It's like a little natural color. It's got a chartreuse stripe down the middle, some blue on top, black head, and white body on the bottom. And uh, for today, this is a really great color. Got a bunch of clouds in the sky and I like to throw, you know, something that's white or like a bone color. This one is perfect. At the end of the day, you know, the bottom of the top water is what the fish are seeing. You know, the top can look really cool, but at the end of the day, it's whatever the color on the bottom is for the most part, um, is what they're gonna see. So this one is perfect for these cloudy conditions that we got today. Let's see if there's fish feeding around this bridge.
So I just changed my GoPro battery and I actually saw one right here. Slam something on top. I'm telling you, there's some big fish nearby right here. Here we go. Here goes nothing. We should get slammed. Oh my God, look at that big one right there. There's a huge one right there in front of me. I'm actually looking at his back. It's so, sh oh my God. Oh my God. That was a mega. Hammered it. Oh my gosh. You have been munching, man. You have been just eating. I know you have. You ain't fooling nobody here. Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. I cast it in the perfect spot. You freaking, let me tell you, these hooks got them. Oh gosh, that was awesome. Perfect precision cast right there in that little cubby hole. And right when I cast it, there's a bunch of bait fish. Look how fat, look how good and healthy that one is. That's a two pounder all day in a one pound body. Oh my gosh. That was so good. Look, he's going right back. Look right back to where he was. He's in that shallow cubby hole. It's only about six inches of water right there. That is how you want it. All right, folks, here we go. Let's catch us a good one. Gosh. Did he come off? No, he didn't. He's still on. Dude, he hammered that thing. He ain't even big. Oh my gosh, did you? You have been the most aggressive fighter all, all day. Congratulations. You're the smallest. I got a hook in me. I got a hook in me. I got two hooks in me. Yep. Yep, past the barb. Okay, on one of them it looks like it's past the barb. Other one it doesn't. This is the first time I've ever got a hook in me. See, that one's fine. See, that one's in there good. Look at that. I mean, he's straight in my hand. I don't know what I'm going to do. That sucker hurts too, I ain't going to lie. It's my first time I got hooked. So Norm got hooked last episode. This was my turn. I'm shaking, man. This First things first, staying calm. Cut that sucker off. Close my knife. Things have taken a turn that I really didn't want them to do. Um, I'm kind of stuck with a hook in my hand. If I can get, I can't. Ah, this is aggravating. As you guys can tell right there, I'm trying to get it focused. It is straight in my finger. Um, this is the first time. I've ever got hooked, I'm by myself right now. Um, I actually ended up having two in my hand on this top water. By the way, it's by six cents if you guys wanna check it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm by myself, I don't have anybody with me. I've never done this before. I guess it's time for me to drive home right now. I'm gonna research some videos and figure out how the heck to get this thing out because it's not like it's an easy one where I can push it through the other side. Like this thing is dead in the middle of my thumb and it's pretty far in there. Uh, like I said, I pulled one of them out. Let's go ahead and get to my house, figure out how we're gonna do this. My dog can't possibly be out again. Nah, 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 your dog's not out. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was seeing if you're home. Yeah. Can you come outside real quick? I got a, I got something uh, I need your help with real quick. Okay. All right, call my neighbor. I'm gonna see if he has any cutters where I can at least get this hook off my hand and then we can figure out how to get it out. That's a lesson learned. You know, you should always have some wire snip, snips or cutters nearby. You need to wrap the string around the hook, right by where it goes into your skin. All right, I'll think like this. And you push down on that eyelet. All right. And hold it against your skin. All right. Then he needs to not tell you, but he just needs to jerk that damn hook as hard and as fast as he can. Let me know as hard as you can. Just do it. Quick and fast. Donezo. It's done? Yep. So boys, that hook is out. That is it right there. It's in my finger. My neighbor's going to get some peroxide and a band-aid. 
I am lightheaded as all can be, let me tell you. I don't know. It didn't hurt that bad. I, I'm just, I feel like I'm about to freaking pass out. That's my only problem. I'm fine. Well, people, thank you so much for watching this video. If you could freaking smash that subscribe button, hit the like button for this one right here. That is the first time I've ever been hooked in the finger. And uh, to, to explain the pain, to be honest with you, it wasn't that bad. When it was coming out, I just told him to yank it. You know, I actually called my dad. Surprisingly, Big Steve knew how to take a hook out when he's never been hooked himself. But he was watching a video and he was telling me through the phone, um, he's never taken a hook out before either. That was interesting, man. That was really interesting. But when he yanked it, you know, I told him, I was like, just, just do it. It didn't hurt. You know, it was done. But the problem was, was getting it off that bait and I just got like lightheaded. Like, I feel like I'm about to die. I was going to go back out and go fishing. But I just like, I feel drunk, okay? I'm a little tipsy right now. So I'm gonna go lay down for a little bit. Maybe I'll get back out later. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video.